One, two, three, one, two, three. Reset the game. Hello and welcome to Waka Waka 7. This is a 1996 Sunsoft game. Uh, same as a lot of other typical SNK fighters of the, of the time. Except this one I feel like has a lot of character to it. And you might recognize if you watch the uh, Resident Evil 2 Leon Run Part 10.5. This was the music I was teasing early on. And not early on, this is the music I was teasing early, it's like a, this is what's coming soon. So this, uh, the main point... I'm just doing the same combo twice, that's boring. Let's see if I can get the command grab. Oops! Accidentally pressed double kick instead of just one kick. So yeah, the main reason I'm doing this is because there's just been a lot of, uh, I'll say darker series on the channel. No, I don't want to do that. I want to... Nope. I couldn't get the commando. But yeah, there's been a lot of darker games on the channel between uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake and... Bloodborne from Ty and Nick, and I'm likely going into Titanfall sometime shortly after this. Well, that's not- I don't know, I wouldn't say likely, but there's a good chance. I picked up Titanfall 2 recently for fairly cheap, and I was gonna play through them single-player that. I was also... considering, uh... playing through Black Mesa. Oops. Because I haven't actually ever played the original Half-Life. And I've only played a small portion of Half-Life 2, actually. So I was planning to, uh... Play through that. As, like, another semi-blind experience. There's a couple other channel decisions that are going to be being made soon that... Hopefully just make the channel better for people to watch. Not that I don't think it's good to watch now, like, I enjoy what we're putting out, but... There's always improvements to be made. I think you can say that about just about any media. And I just want to make the best stuff I can make for people. But enough about that, we're gonna talk a bit about, uh... We're gonna talk more about the game, and then I'm gonna do more of, like, an update style as a follow-up video. So yeah, this is... As I said, this is Waku Waku 7. It's very... Uh, how do I put it? I'd be lying if I said this game means a lot to me, but it is a game that I played when I was younger in an arcade. I think during a family trip, actually. I found it in an arcade and I... I was uh, into fighting games quite a bit when I was younger. I kind of fell out of it when I realized I was bad at them. Which is a terrible ideology, but... If I stop playing games I'm bad at, I'm pretty sure I'd stop just about every game I've ever played. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I played in an arcade once, and then... I never met anyone who had heard about it before. And I couldn't find it again after that, but it came out on a virtual console. Uh, and that was not like a recent thing. This game has actually been out on virtual console for a couple of years now in North America. Oops. I don't wanna... Come on, bonus gun. All right. So yeah, I have a fondness for this game. There's basically two SNK games that uh, are tied to my younger life. This one and uh, Ugado Mark of the Wolves, which I think is Fatal Fight 4 in English. I'm 
Okay, got the wake up. But yeah, so we'll get into this. The story of this game uh, that isn't actually expressed the best through the gameplay itself is that uh, there are seven Waku Waku balls. And if you collect all seven of them, then you can have, uh, you get to have a wish granted. But the part that's not really explained is that uh, anyone who has one of the Waku Waku balls gets like a strange fixation on collecting more. So that's kind of why these characters are running into each other and having these battles for them. Okay, we got a little bit lucky here. Uh, this is actually... Just for transparency, this is not my first time recording this. I had... Uh, one recording that went really well. And I didn't have any trouble until the uh, final fight. And then I did another recording right before this. But the issue is if I run into Dandy for stage 6, uh, this is the worst matchup for me. I can't. I have a lot of trouble fighting Dandy J. So I always uh, hope for. I always pray to RNG Jesus that I get him early enough that I can beat him. Okay, let's eat him. Ooh, god. I got a V0. So that's one thing. With this game, you can kill on chip damage, but I think if you're blocking, you'll always at least get down to zero health, which I was at there. So if you win at that, you get uh, the V0 mark I had there. I don't know if it's got a name, I'm just kind of calling it that. So yeah, this is a bit of an obscure... More obscure than your typical SNK fighter, I think. Man. Come on, Slash. Oh, yeah, I left myself wide open there. I didn't think I was going to win that one. Alright. Hopefully we can beat him. I don't want to waste my Fernandez tokens. Even if they're free because it's virtual console. So the main issue with uh, recording multiple times is I don't remember what all I've mentioned so far. So if I repeat anything throughout the course of this, I apologize for that, but... So there I used my super, which uh, is something every character has. They go into an animation, and then it'll do- wow, okay, I'm dead. I have to get real lucky. So it's good for that super move, or super animation is good for getting out of combos, as you just saw there. Although, well, um, getting out of blocks. It's your block push, I guess. Uh, some characters do actually have a better version of that than others. Uh, the best one is the final boss, Fernandeth, because his is frame one damage. So you can get out of, like, anything you're doing to him, you can just use that if he wants to. Alright, so we're gonna try... I'm gonna try and get the push away. Uh, actually. I missed the input. So this game, I've, I'm sure you've also seen... Uh, the characters have... Uh, ground pursuit attack. So when you knock someone down, if you push up and then any attack button... You'll just jump on them. Which is very useful. The counterplay is if you can match out quick enough. I didn't know that hit low second. Okay. It's good to know. 
I don't have a lot of experience with Slash, so... There's also these... Haru oh, Haru attacks. He's not gonna let me get it. It has a charge up, but the damage they do is just... Absurd. Oh no! Don't let me lose here. Oh wait, I still got another... Chance. Ah, see, yeah, he beat me with Super again. So it uses up one bar of meter. One thing that's interesting with this game that uh, I personally haven't seen in other fighting games before. Maybe they've had it, but uh, for the arcade mode, the more fights you get through, the more super meters you get. So I think they're directly tied to like, or the idea is that they're directly tied to your how many Waku Waku balls you have. So because I've beaten so many guys before him, I get more meter bars there. Not that I ever really use them. That's one uh, one big shortcoming for me, beside my always jumping in. But they just let me do it. See, I missed the input there. Bunny copter. Man, that's a good combo. So yeah, there, he's got his... So the way to combat the uh, jump in attack is if you can wake up fast enough and do your wake up move, then you can usually counter it. But if you're not out fast enough, sometimes you'll trade or they'll just get in before you finish. There we go. Funny punch. Oh. Sometimes if you wait... If you don't mash right away, you can uh, you can bait the AI into doing the jump in, and then you can get out of it and hit him, which is what I was doing there. So yeah, that actually went pretty well there. Makuro, I don't know who Makuro is. So here we collected all of our Waku Waku balls. So she asks. What do we do now? And then we put him in the statue. And then we'll get the fairy out, but before we can get our wish, we've still got one more fight. He says, Thank you, but we'll look out. Guru So this is Fernandez. In English, he's Fernandez, but. In Japanese, he's Fernandef. It's not going to make a huge difference. It's close enough of a name. So yeah, this is the boss. He's... He's what's called the... Uh, he, he's how the arcade gets their change. Oh, yeah, see there? <laughs> Forgot. His Haru Haru move has no charge up. It's just... Instant. Come on, Fernando. Come on, let me hit my combo. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, see, there's this frame one super. In between my two hits, I couldn't get up. In between my two hits, he. <laughs> Caught himself out of it with it. Which I think is a little unfair, but it is what it is. It's the final boss in an arcade game. What are you gonna expect? Let's see if we can't get him a little bit. Oh boy, he got me right off the bat. So, this is one of those kind of final bosses that's uh, equal parts tough demon, equal parts joke character. In the original arcade, you actually, you weren't able to play as Fernandez or Bonus Kun, but then uh, in the console port, they added them as a versus option. I was a little bit late on my output there. There's something you can do with Fernandez. 
But you have to be at like the right distance. I don't know why I'm risking it. No, yeah, he won't do it. Sometimes if you hit him with that move... Oh, no, he killed me. He killed me. Yeah. Sometimes if you hit him with one of those moves, he'll bounce off the wall and you can kind of ping pong him. That's not a great start. Wow! So right there I was trying to get my super out so that I could do more damage. And uh, Fernandez said no. Plain and simple. Showed me the boot. Oh, that was my second death already. <laughs> Alright. Let's do this. Last tokens. Oh! I didn't even know he could do that. I'd never seen it before, but I managed to uh, double KO for now. There we go. Yeah, see? He just breaks himself out of the combo. I missed the input. If I lose because I missed that follow-up. No! Ah. I can feel my soul leaving my body. Alright, last credit. Let's go, come on. Die, ah, the kiss! Alright, last token, let's give it another shot here. I lost because I can't. He just taunted twice? Alright, last token, let's do our best. We can do this. I don't even think I was in the air. How did he any air me? And why did he any air me? Alright, last token. Let's give this our best shot. See, the joke is I'm gonna say last token every time. But it's clearly I'm putting in another token. So I'm gonna do my best not to, uh... No! Oh, I lost. I've done this fight as many times as I have. But, uh, anyone who actually knows this game knows that that little 9 at the end of my score means that's how many times I've hit continue. Which is a lot more than 5. Less talking. I'm gonna focus. Let's just blather on about nonsense. Actually, not about nonsense. I hope you guys have been doing well lately with uh, your quarantine, if you're quarantined, or if you're working. <laughs> this is the most brain-dead gameplay in history. Oh my god. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys are doing well with what's going on in your life. If you're staying home, if you're working, or whatever it is you're doing. I hope you've been keeping well. Times are tough right now and we all have to do our best, but... Uh oh. There, hit him four times. Okay. There you go, final round. Tenth time to try. Got it! Ooh. Now, the first time I record this, the last recording, uh, I beat him in three tries. Not to try and make it sound like I'm better at this game than I, I came across there, but... I promise I'm not as awful <laughs> as I just looked there. I just used the same combo over that. Mashing jab in the corner was probably one of the dumbest things. So yeah, the story here is, uh... She says, great, now that he's gone, you can have your wish. And... Maruru... Barks like a dog for some reason. 
I never, like, I would never expect a dog sound to be his sound, but apparently it is. And then, uh, he tells her that the little girl is lost, and the little girl says, I just want to see my parents again. Uh, and then she magics them out of thin air, and for some reason they're not at all concerned about the fact that they've just been magically apparated. But they are concerned, however, about the big dog bunny bear guy that's standing beside their daughter. So yeah, that was uh, Mardudus, or Mardudun, sorry, for Waku Waku 7. These credits are really fun, it has a little bit more character to them, there's a lie at the top. And this is uh, her getting lost. Oh no, that's him going for with them, I guess they all got along at the end. There's Polytank Z. There goes Tessa. She sees Rai riding by. So these credits seem to uh, imply that every character got their wish. Which doesn't really make sense to me because you have to take the... You have to take the balls from each other, so... They couldn't all have their wish. But... Arina is just funny, she, uh... Actually, I won't spoil it. If you guys want to see other characters, I'm gonna do, uh, Rai for an update video. I might put him down to level 2, or keep him level 3, I don't know. We'll try level 3, I guess, but... If you want to see more characters, you can just let me know in the comments. I'll do my best. I'll probably have to put the difficulty down for most of them. Oops, CDQ. Yeah, there's my old Mardodun. You can see it only took me five retries. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and take care.